Welcome to the how-to video for the build and bash game. Let's get started by setting up the board. First, unfold the playmat and lay it out flat. Place the open game box on the center of the mat and lower the drawbridge flaps. Make sure it's lined up with the print on the mat below. Slide the wooden drawbridge pieces into place. Next, place each sand bin on the correct sand area. Then, fit the character and flag pieces into the stands and put them in place. Next, assemble the Dragon's Den targets. Now, build the three siege weapons. Connect B1, B2R, and B2L pieces together. Push down B3 piece. It may be helpful to use a bit of glue to keep your weapons impenetrable. Next, slide B4R and B4L arm pieces into place. Then top with B5 piece. Load piece B6 with two rubber bands and pull them tightly around the B4R and B4L arm pieces. Next weapon, the Siege Hammer. Piece together SH1, SH2L and SH3. Slide a dowel through the armhole of the hammer. Then place the hammer assembly into SH2L and SH2R holes and snap secure. Thread the rubber band through the hammer head hole and stretch the rubber band to sit into the notches located on the SH2L and SH2R pieces. Gently bring hammer head down when not in use. Last but not least, the catapult. Piece together C1, C2L and C3. Slide a dowel through the armhole of the catapult and place it into the larger C2L and C2R holes and snap secure. It may be helpful to use an unfolded paperclip to get the rubber band through the bucket. Crisscross the rubber band across itself and notch into the hooks on the C3 piece. Now place all of the siege weapons next to the playmat because you are ready to play. Roll the dice to see who moves first. When you travel around the board, you'll land on different action spaces. These could make you lose a turn, help you find a shortcut, and more. There are two ways to build. You can land on a build action space or draw one of the build cards. When building with the sculpting sand, pack your molds tight. The wooden hammer can be used to tap the molds and free the sand structures. Structures can be placed alone or stacked, but don't let them fall over or they have to be placed back in your sand bin. There are two ways to bash. Land on the bash action space or draw one of the bash cards. If you hit a stacked structure with the baluster, remove only the top piece. You can hit single lever structures with the siege hammer. To use the catapult, place it on the catapult post spot on the mat. You have three tries to shoot the ball into the dragon's den target. In this case, the dragon can chomp only one structure, but if you get the dragon card, you get to fly from above and grab as many structures as you can. The deck also includes reverse build and bash cards. These make you build for your opponent and bash your own structures. Capture the flag. Continue to your finish space or end there for a shorter game. The player with the most structures at the end of the game wins. Follow the included instruction sheet for more detailed rules and gameplay. Build and bash your way to victory.